The agenda for today is a very brief AGM for the PPORA. Um, it will be a report from me and a report from Gillian, our treasurer, and there'll be any questions pertaining to the PPORA, and then we'll move on to what probably most of you are here for, the interrogation of Alona, Alan, Nick, and Peter. Um, we've got the minutes of the last meeting. There aren't too many copies, but there ought to be one, enough for one between two. Has anybody got any questions from those? No? Well, that's a good start. We'll move on then with my report. Um, current membership in total stands at 3, uh, 1,371. We have 151 life members who are on hold. We have no contact details for them. All we have is, is their names and when they joined. No addresses, no phone numbers, no emails. There are a further 409 life members, 75 of who wish to be contacted by post. We have email addresses and contact details for most of the others. Owner memberships from this year stand at 375, the vast majority of whom joined when they register their Hunter Cert. We get the name of the person who was joined and the name of the horse. No further details. Um, the remaining number join either at entry or online on the PPRA website. There are 333 rider members, approximately 50% of them are first season riders, so they get to join the PPORA free of charge. Um, and there are 103 people who pay by standing order. So that brings you up to date with, with um, the membership. This year, we had 72 PPORA races. Oh, here's Peter. Do you want to get yourself a coffee? Yeah. Settle down, go to the loo, whatever. <laughs> okay. Yes? Yes, I think it would be very helpful. It's, it, it has improved in the four years since I have been here. The, the membership spreadsheet is much more um, user-friendly than ever it has been. I think it might be a very good project for a university <coughs> student or something like that. Okay, thank you. Um, going back to the PPRA races, we had 72 races in the planner for this year. Not all of them um, took place because a few meetings were um, abandoned. But when we go down to the marquee later on, there is a points championship for owners and riders. And 55 of the 72 programmed races have gone into making up the scores on the doors for the winners, winning owner and winning rider, first, second and third places. I am very hopeful that we end up with similar number next year because yeah i mean you know, without without the support from the secretary the PPRA does tend to wander into the wilderness and a lot of people tell me they only join because of running in PPRA races but i actually think a lot of people join as a matter of course because they think it's the thing that they should be doing very few people join entry. Most people join when they register their hunter cert. So, you know, they don't know what races they're running out there. It's on, only the ones that leave it to the last minute that, that join at entry. That's my personal view. I, if you wish to prove me wrong, do. 
that is about all I have to say as my chairman's report. Move on to you now, Gillian, with your treasurer's one. Do you want this? Yeah. For the benefit of the camera. Hello, I'm Gillian Smith, treasurer for the PPRA. Um, you've got the copy of the accounts in front of you, which is for the year, the 1st of October 2021 to the 30th of September 2022. The association's detailed schedule of financial activities for the year ending on the 30th of September 2022 is shown on page four of the account. Uh, the total income amounted to £35,666, which included subscriptions of 27400 the annual lunch income of 7315 there was a very small amount of bank interest, which you'll see, of £36. It was very low interest rates then, but that has altered slightly going into the next year's accounts. Um, and donations of £875. Mark's already touched on the subscriptions, <coughs> which they can be paid but when the Hunter certificate's put in, and that goes straight into our account. Um, riders are paid monthly from the people to us, so for riders, when they pay their riders' uh, money for their actual certificate, they do their subscription at that time. We also can do subscriptions at entry when you enter a horse uh, online, and that is paid to us at the end of, the fin of our financial year this year, it or for the 2022 year, it came in on the 30th of September, so it shows into our accounts. Direct costs have been quite a bit higher this year than in the previous 2020, uh, than in the previous year of 2021. Um, that was because we had a full post-COVID year where we had again supported point to points by giving a hundred pounds donation for each PPORA conditions race held. So the sponsorship and donations paid out total £10,500, which included two pointer points, which we actually supported the meeting with £1,500 per meeting. That was for the Yorkshire Jockeys and for the Cotswold Vale meeting. Um, the Yorkshire Jockeys were sponsored because it was a brand new meeting, and so to help them get started, we sponsored them. And then the Cotswold Vale was one that was nominated through our committee that the thought, it might not go ahead if they didn't get financial support. And again, we'd be looking to do that this next year. So if anybody has any suggestions of a meeting that would need to be supported to keep it going, then please let your rep know so that we know that and then we can look at sponsoring them for next season. Um, we, as Mark said, there was 72 races scheduled of which we paid out for about 50 races because some were cancelled. Um, and others, and again, this is a plea to all of you, please. After each of the meetings each weekend, I email out to the secretaries and ask them to send an invoice and their bank details so we can pay them over for any of the PPORA races. But some secretaries, even after hastening them, still f don't send me anything. And without the details, I can't pay them. So if any of you have anything to do with any point-to-points or meetings or secretaries, please stress to them when I email please get your treasurer to send an invoice in because we can't pay you without it because I don't know your bank details. Um, we also sponsored our two novice riders for the 2021-22 season as well, so there is sponsorship for that in there. Um, other expenses were the annual lunch of £15,119, uh, where the PPORA host all of our annual winners. The administrative costs were up slightly due to the PPORA engaging the services of a public relations contractor to keep the website and social media updated. And we have the services of Shelley Coles, who does administrate all the membership services and helps organise the lunch and just all the general admin. Um, the advertising and PR website costs were 7175 and secretarial expenses at 5266 Printing, stationery and accounting fees have all remained similar to the previous year. 
Uh, there's an addition for clothing. This is the PPRA logoed clothing for reps and our sponsored jockeys. And we give the uh, T-shirts, hats, etc., out for winners of the PPRA races. Uh, so that gave a total administrative costs for the year of £15,409. Uh, in total, we have a resultant net deficit for the year of 5362 this was expected because, as I say, due, due through COVID, we didn't really have much expense, which is why we decided to continue uh, helping point-to-point -point meetings. So we did expect there to be an expense there. And page three shows the balance sheet for the association as at the 30th of September 2023, with a positive net assets position of 85,960 as opposed to the 91,320. 22 in 2021. Uh, this is made up of monies in the current account and our 45 day saver account. And if anybody's got any questions, please feel free to ask me and I'll try and answer them. <laughs> yes. Richard Fuller. Just one little question. I noticed the bank interest receivables was yeah. 36 pounds. Yes. And we've got 80 something thousand in cash. No, it. It didn't, but we've now changed f going into this the next financial year. Twenty thousand was taken out of our just Weatherby's current account and put into the forty-five day saver account. So there is more money in there. We do keep a working capital because obviously, as we're going through the year, we have to keep paying out. Um, and no doubt, before the end of this year, we'll assess the situation and probably some more money will get transferred in. And already the interest for the 2022 to 2023 season is a lot more than it was then, but interest rates have gone up now. And at the time, I think we were in 0.5% or something at that time. So it, it was these are These are to um, the end of September 22, before everything, yeah. Anybody else like Any to ask anything? questions for Gillian? No. Any further... PPORA specific questions before we move on to 